<laughs> All right, so I decided to give uh, the Raspberry Pi one more shot uh, with the At Games Legend. Uh, I don't know. 1.1 so I got my uh, Raspberry Pi 4 uh, it's an 8 gigabyte version uh, it's running retro pi uh, this is just uh, a, like a 64 gigabyte garbage build that came with like a, a buttons kit when I ordered it for buttons for a, a, a mod I was doing on another machine anyway the problem we had with uh raspberry pi is uh with otg is that you can the first player's uh controls work but the second player uh it, it wouldn't work for them um what i did is i just went to options uh emulation tools of course every front end is going to be different so uh but this is what I installed. I installed uh, this controller. It's right there. It's called the Zemo and uh, Juile Do Player. Um, I installed it. Just uh, then went back to the main main menu, and as you see, the second player just started working. All the buttons started working in all the games. So, uh, before this, I tried to install the, uh, the, the arcade two joystick, uh, drivers for the X arcade, which is basically kind of same type of setup, trackball, two things, but that didn't work. It was that, uh, that one I just showed you for some reason got both, uh, both players to work and the trackball, uh, this is the button I use for my coin button uh, for player one. Um, player two, I didn't have a coin button. Uh, I didn't have to map act anything though. Uh, it just, player two just started working. So uh, whenever there's uh, a game where you have to enter coins, I just enter a bunch of coins with, the, with this button and then player one and player two can join and the coins uh, are just in there. Uh, I haven't had a problem with it.